Hey people, welcome back and today we are doing padding and alignment of strings using dot format method. So let us put it padding and alignment of strings. Okay, shift enter. So I'll use our previous example itself. Print today is and I'll put this one and I'll put 10 characters. Okay. If you have not seen the previous videos, go and check those videos. You will understand what I am doing right now. Sunday. Okay. So when you do something like this, so there are, you could see there are 10 character spaces allotted for this string. So when you execute this, and you check it here, select it and drag your mouse. You could see there are 10 character spaces, 3, 3, 6 and 4 here. And out of those 10, our string is aligned towards left. Okay, so by default, the alignment is to left only. Okay, if you want to put the alignment to right, what you could do, select it put it here and instead of keeping it blank here just put this thing okay so when you put this sign here so this will align towards your right now you check it this sunday which was aligned to left in those 10 characters now it is aligned to right in these 10 characters okay so this is how alignment works the left is default alignment right you will have to put again there is you could ask what do we do for center so just copy it and put it here and for center you will put this sign this carrot run it and this is in center now okay you could see there are two white spaces here and two white spaces here and the string our value is in the center okay now you could do something more also if you want to put some character instead of uh, white spaces you want to put some filler characters suppose i want to put underscore instead of keeping those paddings white space i'll run it and you could see so this is right aligned and this has here the underscores which we provided over here so the white spaces are gone instead of white spaces now we are getting underscores you could put anything else also if you want to put something like suppose i put it in center and i am putting something like percentage and run it so now you could see sunday is in the middle and the percent sign is on the both sides of our string okay now let's come to the point where if you want to truncate your string okay if you want to suppose you have a long string and you want to truncate your string so i'll just copy it you could use dot operator here not dot operator it is just indicator that you are going to truncate suppose i put a dot here and reduce it to three and run it so now you could see that sunday which has six characters now is truncated to three characters so this dot signifies that you have to truncate your string okay so that's how you could you could truncate your long strings which are very long and you want to just show a limited length of the string okay in that case you could use this you can do alignment and truncating together also i'll paste the same thing here and if you want to make it right align put it like this and truncate it point three okay run it now you will see this is right aligned with just three characters so the whole length is truncated to three characters and it is right aligned so you could use both of them together also so that's it for today and keep subscribing to the channel share with your friends and keep watching we'll come with lot more stuff gradually okay Bye.